Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Deer Isle map and related uh, mission files to your local Daisy server. So this is the version of Daisy you run on your local PC or your local uh, laptop for single player experiences, or maybe you do it to test mods, or maybe you do it um, to create content. Um, the advantage of using a local server is that it saves your pro progress when, when you log off. If you just do it in offline mode, um, once you stop, it forgets and then you've got to start again. Now I've done previous videos on how to install the server itself, and I'll link to those in the description um, below the video. So for this purpose of this video, I'm, kind of, I'm assuming that you've already got a local Daisy PC server, it's up and running, and you just want to have a go on Deer Isle, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So as with most things, most things Daisy, um, it all starts off in Steam. So you want to go to the workshop, search for the Daisy workshop and find the Deer Isle mod. D-W-E-R-I-S-L-E. -E, and you want to subscribe to that. Then what you want to do is you'll want to close down Daisy and reload it again so that the Deer Isle mod downloads to your local version of Daisy on your PC. Then what you want to do is you'll want to find out where the Daisy program is on your hard drive. You'll also need to know where your server is as well. Normally they're in the same sort of folder. So on my computer, they're on local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common. Now, if you're having trouble finding it and you don't know where they are, within Daisy, if you go to the mods uh, section, click on the little arrow on the right, click on the little three dots down there, and click on open folder in Windows Explorer and it'll say look don't change anything in these folders you say yeah I understand that will then open up the folder where they are so this is where all your mods are stored um, for, for Daisy so what you want to do is you want to go down to Deer Isle you want to right click that and you want to copy that all right so you copy that and then you want to go up one then up another one, and then your Daisy server should be in the same place. Okay, so you then click into that, and here we have all our mods. So you want to right click, and then uh, paste will be there, and you'll paste it, and you'll get Deer Isle. There we go, so there's Deer Isle. Now the, th the thing about the Deer Isle uh, mod is that it doesn't include the mission files. It doesn't inf include those, so there is, there's gonna be a few extra steps we've got to do compared to other normal mods. But for now, go into Deer Isle, Go into the keys, right click the key, copy that, go up, go up and go into the keys folder on your server. And then we paste that in there. And so that's the key so they know they're kind of talking to each other and they're singing from the same hymn sheet when you've got um, Deer Isle on your Daisy and you've got Deer Isle on your local server. So the next thing we need is we need the mission file with all the XMLs for all the loot that spawns in and the different amounts. Now. For that, we need to go to the Deer Isle website, and I'll put a link to this in the description below the video, uh, deerisle-wiki.jimdosite.com. And you go to download and license here, and have a good read of it. If you're going to use this um, on a server, you know, maybe maybe give, um, give them a little bit of help with a little bit of uh, a donation, and scroll through all the people who support them. And then finally, when you get to the bottom, you get, get to the bit that says, uh, agree to all this stuff. And then you download it and that will then take you. So when you click on that, that will take you to the mega uploads um, section. Now, depending on when you're reading this video, there'll be different versions on it. Um, so we've got um, Deer Isle Stable, Deer, Deer Isle Experimental, and there's what a uh, PVP bit for Swan Island. So we want Deer Isle Stable. And at the moment, there's version 112 and version 113. Now, when I'm recording this video, um, we're only up to we're up to Daisy 114, so they haven't released the 114 um, uh, XMLs yet. But don't worry about it too much. It, you can still experience, you know, Daisy on Deer Isle with that. What it probably won't include are things like the um, the new weapons and things like the gas zones yet. So join their Discord, keep an eye on things, and as soon as they've got the new files out, you can use them. And then what you want to do is you want to click in here and you want the uh, empty.deerisle.ra file. So you click on those three dots and click download. 
Now that will download as a zip. Now once that's downloaded, go to your download section on your computer, uh, copy that, and then come to your missions and then paste it into the missions folder. And you see we've got empty.dri, and then you extract it, so right click, extract, or right, right click, unzip, and you'll have empty.dri. And if we go into it, we can see, go into the DB folder, there you go, you've got all your XMLs. So the stuff's gonna, gonna spawn. So that's cool. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that when the server starts, it's gonna start with uh, the DRIL mod running. So what you wanna do is you just wanna left click on DRIL, left click it again, and then right click to copy the name, and then just click somewhere else. Then you want to fire up your batch file. You want to open up your batch file in your text editor. So this is mine. So this is your .bat file. So edit with Notepad++. And your batch file might be a little bit different to this, um, but the important line is this one, the start line. Start Daisy server, blah de blah de blah de blah And then this is the bit that's important. Um, with mod, uh, CF, Zombri Admin Tools, and as you can see, I've already added in DRIL. So there's semicolon at DRIL. So what that's going to do, it's going to make sure that when the server starts, it's going to start with a DRIL mod. So make sure you save that. Now the next thing we need to change is we need to make sure that when um, the server starts as well, not only does it use the right mod, but it uses the right mission file and that's in server dz.cfg or config so right click that edit with notepad plus plus and scroll down to the bottom and it's this template bit here so you see i've already changed it template equals now your one will probably say template equals and it'll have uh, daisy offline dot churner as plus or daisy offline dot enoch or offline dot takistan or something like that so what you want to do to make it easy so you don't make any mistakes if you go into the missions folder and then just, uh, where are we? Left click in the name, wait a bit, left click again, right click, copy the name, click somewhere else, go back into the server dz.config, and then inside the quotation marks next to template, just paste that in there, empty.dril, save that. And that, my friends, that is it. Um, so the batch file is gonna start the server with the correct uh, mod running, which is um, DRIL, um, and the server dz.config file is going to choose the right mission, so it's going to load into the right one. So what we can do now is, if we then go back to here, and I double click my batch file, that's going to fire up the server. Then if I go into DayZ and uh, just check my mods, so I've got DRIL, Zombri, and Community Framework. Uh, well, C sorry, CF. Um, tech. Now if I go to Servers, and I go to LAN. Here you go, so example name, DRIL. Join. Now you'll get this thing come up, but you just say keep current selection and join. And this is where you see if you've done everything right or not, because Daisy will fire up and it will fire into your... Um, fire into server now remember you do need to keep this updated manually as well so if there is an update to the mod or an update to day z you've got a you've got update again i've done videos on how to keep your local server updated and how to update your mods um it's pretty simple the most important thing with DRIL is to keep an eye on their or those mission files for when they release the latest um uh, xml's that will have uh, the gas zones and the new weapons things like um what was the new was it the grozer the new weapon i can't quite remember hmm. there was definitely things like um the new traps isn't there so you can trap uh, animals and obviously the uh the fact that you've not now got gas mask filters and you've got the, like the yellow hazmat suits the yellow mbc stuff here we go so this is going to load in dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. excellent map by the way dear isle absolutely superb all done by one person i mean he's got lots of people helping him but john mclean Deserves a big pat on the back for this, and I really hope that Pima Interactive buy or license the map off him so that we can have it as an official map on console, especially um, because I think it would be a great addition. E -de 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 -de. Takes a bit to load it. So, when you first fire up, you see what the game is doing as well, it is generating things like the database folder. Right, so here we go. So, we're in. I've already sort of fired this up. So, now if you've got, for example, Zombri 
installed. Right, let's just close this door. So now I can go toggle guard, toggle free cam. And there we go. There is Deer Isle on a local server, ready ready for me to explore and play single player DayZ, or maybe test the compatibility of mods or create content, create cinematics, all that sort of stuff. Now, if you're having trouble with it starting in terms of mods as well, um, sometimes you will get um, compatibility differences. And one of the most um, simplest way to solve it is the, the order in which mods load. So on, in this particular instance, the server loads CF first, then Zombie Admin, then Deer Isle. Now it could be for a particular mod, it needs to load in before or after certain things. So if you're ever having any trouble, go over to the Steam discussions page for that particular mod, go over to the comments page and go to the Discord as well for Deer Isle, you know, and just see if anybody posted anything about. And when, you, you, when you're using lots of different mods, are the fact that you may well have to um, load them in a particular order. But there we go. Hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully now you can explore Deer Isle on your local PC or laptop server and enjoy what is an amazing piece of work. Okay, so if that's been useful, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.